Melissa Whaley. I'm back and I have a new wave tutorial for you today. And we're going to be talking about what to do when your wave payments is going to the wrong account. So let's dive in. If you've ever had this issue where you sign up for wave, you turned on wave payments, and then you're starting to get paid on your invoices. But when the payments come through, they're showing up as cash on hand. And this can be a really frustrating problem because the money's not going to this cash on hand. It's going to your actual bank account, but you're not sure how to fix it. The issue here is that you set up what's called your account mapping on wave payments wrong. So when you set up wave payments, you're supposed to tell it what bank account that the payments goes to, especially if you have multiple bank accounts, Wave has no idea. Um, it doesn't connect what you set up in Wave payments to what you have in your Wave account. So what we're gonna do is go over here to the settings tab. And settings is gonna bring up a number of options and it's gonna allow us to map Wave payments going to the right account. So here we can see our different options in the settings. And under credit card payments, it has turn it on or off, your bank profile, and account mapping. So what we want to do is account mapping. Now, if you need to change, if you change banks and you need to change what bank account your actual wave payments gets deposited into, that would be something you do in bank profile. But for right now, we just need to tell wave what bank account our wave payments actually gets deposited into. Okay, so here we see payments by wave and what bank account. Now, if you had it set up wrong, it would say cash on hand right here when you pulled it up and you would go, oh no, that's not right. So if you already have your checking account set up, you can select checking account or even better practice is to actually create a pass through account called wave payments pass through. So first we want, oops. So we want to create wave, a wave payments pass through account. So we're going to consider that a bank account and we're just going to call it cash management and then we'll change the name to wave payments pass through. This is a best practice. So because the money is going into your WAVE payments account first, so WAVE is receiving the money and then the, they're depositing their net amount after fees to you, then doing it through a pass-through account is the most accurate way of tracking your money. The other option, which is a shortcut that many people do, is to just select your checking account, click save, and then as these transactions come in, we go to the transaction screen, we'll see these starting to come in under checking account. Okay, so let's pretend we fixed our wave payments and now we have it coming into just the checking account. This is what it's going to look like you're gonna receive a payment for $300 from your client, this is Tracy, and then it's WAVE is gonna automatically say it went to the checking account because they paid through WAVE payments. Then WAVE is also gonna automatically include their fees, which are merchant account fees, and we're just gonna pretend it was $1.50. And it's also gonna say that that came out of the checking account because we mapped it to the checking account. Then what's gonna happen, is WAVE is gonna put a deposit in your checking account for the net amount when it's time to do deposits. So, you know, WAVE has a deposit cycle. So you got $298.50 in your bank account. Well, shoot, now it's gonna look like this income is nearly doubled because you have this deposit and you have this payment. So if you're going to do it this cheater way, then you're gonna have to just go ahead and go in and delete this deposit of the net amount because we've already recorded the gross payment minus the fees. So when you're going to verify your account transactions, as long as your balance on your bank account 
matches the end of the month balance on your statement, then you're still okay. Okay, now let's say we had it mapped to the wave payments pass-through account. So that means if someone pays us with wave payments, it's going to record that payment. It's going to say it got went into the wave payments pass-through account and the fees were taken out. So we have the income and expense recorded here. But again, we still have this deposit into our bank account. Now what we would do is simply add an expense for the same day the deposit came in. We would call it transfer and we would match the amount that was deposited into our bank account. Because this deposit may be a combination of multiple invoice payments in one day, especially if you invoice all your clients on one day of the month, then you're gonna get a ton of payments all at once and it's gonna be lumped into one deposit, not individual deposits. That's why we never want to record our income based on what's deposited into our accounts. We wanna record our income based on what we invoice to our clients. So now that we have this negative amount, we don't have to categorize it, and we're saying that it's gonna come out of this wave payments pass-through account. So the money went into wave payments, the fees were taken out, and then WAVE transferred the money to our bank account. So now, because we have an expense, a red right here, red means expense, and an income, a green, the exact same amount, but they're in different accounts, so it's coming out of WAVE payments, going into our checking account, we can now select each of these and mark it as a transfer. And what that's gonna do is show that our balances on our accounts stay the same, but the money moved. So we can always verify our checking account to the exact dollar amount that matches our bank statement versus using it going directly into our checking account and having to kind of fudge it as long as the final numbers match. And this also makes sure that we can verify all of our wave payments were transferred properly to our bank account and no money was being held back because we want to check those sort of things so we know exactly where our money is. We don't always want to trust our payment processors to do their job. We sometimes have to follow up. So that's the transfer option using the wave payment, or you can record it directly to your checking account and delete the deposit, but that's the less accurate way of doing it. I hope that was really helpful for you guys. Make sure that you have that WAVE payments turned on if you're invoicing clients directly through WAVE. It helps you get paid a lot faster and it takes the hassle of chasing after your clients for payment because they can literally open their invoices, click pay, and be done and you get paid. I'll see you guys again soon for another WAVE tutorial.